begin with it yeah yeah absolutely okay, okay. so a very good evening our expert for today's session is megha roy welcome ma'am on behalf of team enlightenment i hope uh, you and your loved ones are doing well during this tough times thank you for joining us in today's webinar my name is atri roy and i will be moderating today's webinar enlightenment is india's first personalized web app uh, platform to solve students problem of determining their career path so we all from the whole team we welcome you with a warm heart and for today's webinar thank you so much atri that means a lot to me and thank you so much for this opportunity thank to speak to you all thank you thank you so much so for our audience our esteemed guest is someone who is handling the best of both worlds being a marketer as well as a travel blogger now without further delay we'll start our talk okay yeah so ma'am uh, first we love like we love to know that how did you first got this idea of travel blogging all together like the whole idea about it okay so i'll first start with giving a little introduction about myself so i'm megha roy and i have i am an engineer i'm a computer engineer by profession uh, i then after that i mean after spending four years studying for computer engineering i worked i joined tcs and then i took two years of break sabbatical and i pursued my masters in marketing media and communications from symbiosis institute of media and communications pune and thereafter i joined tcs again and since then i have been working with um, TCS now in the marketing profile. Now talking about travel, how did travel occur to me? So basically, like um, okay, to be very honest, travel occurred to me in a way that I wanted a validation. Okay, it was at that way. Oh. Okay, so uh, so it's from my childhood. Basically, I did I did not have good experiences when it came to like you know friends. I was mostly bullied and. Um, you know um like even in my mba college i had some mismatch of ambitions and aspirations and i came from a corporate background and my friends over there were all juniors just fresh out of college so we had some up and down so i did not share good relations when it came to friendships as well so that's when i used to feel very belittled about myself and i lacked confidence and that's when like you know i don't know what fine day happened to me and then like you know i was uh, like uh, i i was like okay uh, let me just let me just, just like just go out i i was bored okay and i was like okay there's new year coming and i can't just wait i can just and it was i think 15th of december and new year was on 31st and i was like i can't start my new year just sitting in the room like this and like you know cribbing about my life so let me do something okay and i don't know i was under the influence of alcohol to be honest and then the morning when i woke up and i saw that you know i have already booked uh, a river rafting package in um, Rishikesh, okay, and I'm like, what the hell? What did I, what did I do last night? You know, <laughs> what happened to me? And to be honest, I'm scared of water. Up until then, I was told, like, you know, I mean, like, I, I, I'm scared of, uh, like, you know, high knee deep waters and all that things. So I was like, you know, I don't know how, why did I do this? Why did I book this package uh, in Rishikesh? And how will I go to Rishikesh? What will happen? Like, how do I do this? And that's when I was like, okay, let's just start. I mean, what will happen? Who kya hoga karke? And from there it started, and then like I was like, let's experience the first time I was actually, you know, going out by myself. And I had traveled before, like travel with friends or you know, like not friends, but family, cousins, but not as like alone by myself. So that was my first experience, and I went to Rishikesh. I was completely new. I didn't know what exactly traveling also means. What people say, solo traveling. What do they do as well? Like you know, I, I was completely clueless about it. But then from there things started, and I started experiencing. And uh, then uh, you know, like I, I think this, that's how I started traveling. Okay, but I was never posting pictures. I was never you know. After that, I went to Udaipur as well. You know, you, if you see my pictures back in Udaipur, I mean, I was like, I was like, oh my god, what even happened to me that time? But then, like, you know, uh, so my friend, one of my very good friends, she told me, like, you know, you have an Instagram account with only seven posts. Why don't you start posting? I was like, no, I'm not pretty, and you know, uh, nobody will like me. You know, like, uh, I, I'm mean, like, I have so much of you know people who's bullying me. I don't have that confidence. And she took my phone and she's like, you shut up, you don't know anything. And then she posted this picture, and then she would regularly, oh. like, you know, she'll be like, you know, uh, make her post this picture. This is really nice. And I would, without any caption, without any hashtags, I would just go ahead and post it. but then over the time then i realized that you know like when i started spending some time behind it like you know be it even writing caption or be it you know like what my reflecting on what my day was back then it started making me feel happy and that's when i was like you know ki, okay this is not a bad thing like you know and then obviously instagram is something that you know like 
you know your uh, reach obviously you fans your you know your instagram picks up reach it is like you know you meet different people you interact with them then i started seeing that you know like that validation was coming through like you know people were appreciating my pictures my posts and that's when from there it started that you know like i have to with every travel i do i have to you know click click better pictures i have to you know like you know um, you know uh, bring some more value so i mean value did not come exactly back then it started with just like me looking for validation honestly and uh, you know like like on those so uh, it just started that way and then it picked up from there for me so yeah okay that is how That's traveling and then yeah and also like you know when all this thing happened then i was like okay now when i look back and like you know i'm like let me start adding value because there's so many travel bloggers right now everyone's traveling traveling has become a household name today so everyone's traveling so i'm like you know how do i differentiate myself how do i add value that's how like you know this so uh, like content creation also came into my mind and i started pursuing it so yeah that was a, like really a nice journey like it was so nice to listen like even i love traveling honestly but then again you know the restriction comes that parents say you you know kelly ladki why will you go you solo travel and all that so coming to the next question like did you like so all the whole thing the parents saying the people saying that you know you're alone how will you travel all the safety issues etc etc so how did you like manage everything like that it was it difficult okay. being a female solo traveler see honestly i feel we women have instincts okay and if we trust our instincts we will never go wrong but having said that yes i know instincts are something that develops over the time it's not immediately once you start traveling but then like uh, so what happened with me was my parents especially my mom my mom knew about my travels okay so sometimes in the beginning i would lie that okay i'm going with a friend i'm going with, like a group of friends but it was like it was me all alone but yes i showed her the confidence she had the trust in me that you know i will not do something which will be dangerous for me because she knows i'm a very big fatu okay so i will myself not do anything which will put me in danger so that confidence or you know like that trust my parents had on me since like my childhood so it was pretty easy like you know uh, like uh, and back then when i was in college uh, it was like you know i i was to just go out from my college only directly so it was not that my parents were like you know okay, i'm going away from home so they would know karke so aise maine us samay manage kara tha but uh, you know uh, talking about safety yes like you know i will tell you something very like uh, honestly that i traveled to so many places solo i never felt even a single point wherein i felt unsafe okay maybe because you know on, and i'll tell you i don't even know how to ride a cycle i mean my life skills are zero okay so but then like wherever i went be it humpy be it go karna i would hitch hike you know and i would like make friends in the hostel so you know all that decisions whether i want to go out or go with this person and explore this place or you know what do i want to do if someone is being nice to me so if you don't get that vibes don't pursue it in fact like you know and you should know where you're going to draw a line like recently on holi i was like you know i want to go to mathura and all my friends warned me that you know mega mathura is not a good place for you to go um, you know if if you want to go go in a group okay don't go alone and i'm like no 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 my husband is with me don't worry i'll manage and trust me i had the worst experience of my life i mean i went there for four days and i came back in just one day it was the worst experience i had when it came to safety when it came to like you know uh, you know the experience the vibes you talk about you know it was zero so you know the funny thing is like i traveled to so many places you know in fact being a north indian i knew nothing about what you know south indian languages are but still i never felt insecure uh, or unsafe or you know like uncomfortable anywhere but going to mathura i really did not like that experience so you know I, if i have to say something you know like to myself i would be like you know don't be stupid if someone is telling you something listen to it so i think you know if you know like when you draw your list that okay how, where do all girls need to go and just solo traveling you know it's all over the internet some really safe places and i can vouch for them because i've actually been there so you know like when you start start slow you know like um, go to places which have familiar people you know which have like you know uh, you know which has a good network of hostels good transport system and you know language is not a barrier so you know like go to such places when you start small you see the reciprocation you get from people the the you know the experiences you have that gives you the confidence to explore you know beyond you know like your capacity or you know experiment so and push yourself basically so i would say just start slow and yeah that was nice okay so uh, when you're talking about the social media part like presently the social media has been the big thing and with the pandemic everyone at home so how do you handle your social media like how, it is difficult to grow because there are a lot of fish in the fish in the market a lot so everybody is a travel blogger or a fashion blogger or a food blogger etc 
so how do you manage the social media because to be there like be out there like exceptional yeah. so how do you like do that see honestly social media is not like a like ek din mein rome was not built in a day okay social media if you ask me like to be very honest i struggled with social media for a very long time like okay my posts were appreciated but when it comes to like following i was not getting followers until last year uh may okay it was only in may when i started doing this creative photography okay like using gopro and i went viral to be very honest and i got almost like a uh, 7 8000 followers like you know it was just like a massive growth like din dugni raat chogni types okay but then yeah. what happened that you know like while that was fascinating me okay that okay creative blog, creative photography something really nice i'm getting featured everywhere but that did not make me happy because you know that was bringing me stress and uh, you know like i was like you know i don't feel for this subject as much as i feel when i write for traveling this i'm doing for entertainment purposes purpose i'm not adding value to anyone so that's when like you know i was like okay even if this is getting me following let me step back and do what i really like what i think i can add value in and so i took a step back and again from i think uh, october i started doing full time travel blogging as before travel content creation so my piece of advice over here would be yes there are many fishes in the market but there would like you know differentiate yourself in such a way that either how you can add a value like i know some bloggers you know who go to go- places like goa but explore it in a way where like even i have never seen anyone do that so find out either your niche and niche could be uh, um, going to such uh, you know like uh, explore places but exploring the unexplored over there b could be how do you capture a particular place like for example i know a couple blogger who you know like using drone even the simplest of place i'm so sorry even the simplest of place they capture using drone and it looks so beautiful and their account is really growing people are appreciating that content so, and you know so likewise find like okay recently started a like you know a series but i am not very very uh, active right now it's like how do we bring out some stories about the place like for example like you know uh, rishikesh if you talk about this choti wala restaurant so why is it so famous uh, like so basically bring out these stories so identify what differentiates you what and uh, how you can add value because just clicking fancy pictures and with nice poses is not something you know like people will see your value and that's what i've yeah. realized followers are never i mean it's very difficult to have loyal followers okay so who will stick by you no matter what so and i think you know for you to have the loyal followers they need to understand what value you bring to the table if your posts make you smile like i know a i know a girl who is into travel blogging and her content is okay okay but when you see her picture that brings a smile on your face that bubbliness is there that she reflects in that happiness reflects in her post and that's what people like to see so identify what differentiates you and pursue it it will take a lot of time that's instagram you know like that social media yeah. it will take a lot of time but if you're consistent consistency is the game okay and it is the key basically i would say and if you're consistent and if you're constantly adding value posts i'm sure things will pick up and um, then build up your own network of travel bloggers and you know like uh, there are many groups like now that you have clubhouse as well so you know you can cross leverage your platforms you know and like bring the traction to your profile and grow so yeah yes so like you, uniqueness is the key you need to be unique and you need to like communicate and network properly and be happy about your content don't do it because it's be like right. yeah like if today i want to do like i think oh drones is probably working for that couple let me also buy drone let me also start taking drone pictures no i don't see i that's not my type of content it's not that i like it so much it's just i'm doing it to grow and that is that doesn't serve the value so find what makes correct. you happy what is the type of content you believe in correct correct, correct. okay so and moving on to the next question would be as we know that traveling incurs a lot of money so it's all about money expenses so as somebody like if somebody has a decent job they can afford it savings etc but suppose if a student or if uh, someone who is a starter wants to get into travel blogging so isn't it like really difficult for that person to you know fund their travels and you know take this at a full time career as a option so like how is like are there any options because i don't know if there are any options or not like how See, i will fund to ask I'll touch upon two aspects over here. One you said is like full time pursuing for a student, full time travel pursuing for a student, and B would be how do you manage the expenses. So I'll first, I'll take the first question that full time pursuing travel. Honestly, I would never suggest that because see, no matter see 
when it comes to traveling when it comes to con firstly know what your sources of money could be okay for you need to do that for yourself you need to do that homework secondly would be that okay this pandemic actually saw people like people doing freelancing people doing content creation like you know struggling to stay afloat so you know like Correct. what are your sources in case your plan a doesn't work what's your plan b like in case even if you're like okay like i'll figure it out i have many years to stabilize i can like these two years i will just travel and i'll figure it out fine but what is your plan b what if this doesn't work out for you so you know like find your ex- like and i i don't believe actually that you know like you leave everything and you pursue content creation unless you ha- that's your a game unless that you are really good at it and you know people in the industry you know from where you can get your revenue your your get your bills paid unless that is there don't ever think about leaving your job and doing something like i know right now even if i want to i will never do that because i want something that pays for my bill why traveling is my passion and i don't want to start hating my traveling tomorrow if you know i leave my job and i'm like oh traveling is not me getting me paid you know getting not getting me pay my bills so so it's basically try to find a balance between both in case even if you're working or you know you want to uh, you know like uh, pursue travel along with working try to strike a balance there are many people who are utilizing their long weekends they're utilizing uh, you know hol- their uh, 52 leaves you know how they're utilizing all that so find out like you know uh, how you can probably do that and now with work from home i think traveling and remote working is such a nice option we all have work from home is such a nice option we all have so try to pursue that you know try to uh, and okay maybe once you are like you know 5 years 10 years down the line once you've stabilized and you have enough money with you then maybe actively pursue it actively pursue travel blogging if only your plan b is there for you not talking about your first the second question that how does a student fund so even i was a student for a long time when i started solo traveling so how i can say is that yes saving is the most important thing but obviously you need to draw a line like you know where on your spending when even when you're traveling like for example like back then i was like okay 5000 i'm going to take out for my every trip and i'm not kidding when i say this thing where i had gone to dharamshala uh, and uh, you know like while i was returning and my money had completely exhausted i came back sitting on the footboard of a bus okay it was like when i was young basically like 5 years back okay but anyway so i'm saying like you know stick to your uh, stick to your uh, you know t- budget for your travel and you know like don't try to like see if you like you need to understand that you know either mai bahut lavishly travel karu ya to mai agar mujhe bar bar travel karna hai cost cutting kar kar ke travel karu hostels is the mm-hmm. best option like you know you have such amazing hostels today and this hostel culture is coming up in india so well that you know it takes care of most part of your accommodation i mean it doesn't burn up hole in your pocket then when it comes to like you know uh, as i said like this your if you're tra- if you're a student when you pick up a destination for solo travel really pick up places where you know you have like good hostels you have good uh, you know travel network sorry transport network so you know that way you'll save a lot of money so and then it comes to food eat local like you know i like you know eat local cuisines be it even parathas be it even like you know uh, all those local obviously not street food i talk about but you know i'm okay. mentioning but then like good restaurants but not very expensive ones so i think like if you cut down on your cost of you know buying souvenirs buying you know uh, you know like uh, other thing uh, you know spending lavishly on travel unnecessarily which doesn't make sense then i think traveling can be work, like you know it can be managed correct correct so ma'am moving on to the next question would be how did travel change you as a person like how did okay. you change how was you and then how did traveling actually shaped you as a person Okay. Firstly, as I said in the beginning, why did traveling occur to me in the search of validation? Okay, because I was bullied and all that thing. So when traveling occurred to me, I realized that you know, like when I started staying in the hostels, I made friends. I realized that you know, I was still now judging myself based on the small network I had of people who were not who were even trying to pull me down or trying to demean me in some or the other way. When I started traveling, I realized that you know. the world is much bigger than you know i was restricting my world too so you know that sort of gave me that con- like that sort of gave me like you know that i am not so bad it's just the people who were judging me were bad okay so you know that kind of gave me a self confidence then you know like the way I, i was initially like not very confident about talking to people but staying in hostels talking about myself and i knowing that you know like i'm never maybe I'm going to meet this person again so i can be myself and you know talk anything that gave me that sense of confidence that you know like uh, you know like i whatever i'm i'm that confidence to speak to anyone 
uh, then I would say like you know when like when you I started discussing then I used to make friends and we used to say oh I have done this this in my life and if they would be like so what I have done worse than that chill you you've done nothing and then uh, that's when I realized that even the bigger problems which in my head used to be very big enough for me it's just nothing it's all part and parcel of life so what I can say is like how traveling has shaped me is like you know it has built up my confidence a lot I uh, like it has set a certain benchmark for me in myself like you know initially I would just let anyone walk over me like say anything. to me but now i know dude you better respect me okay else i will i will yeah. show you what i am so you know like it did it self self it made me understand my self worth and you know like i have become like i it, like do no shit but take also no shit i have become that sort of a person so i think like internally i have been able to calm myself down a lot and uh, yeah so and now i have friends all over the places you know so like it has just expanded my network of friends so i feel happy about that That that's a like really cool like friends all over the world. That sounds really yeah. cool. <laughs> In yeah, fact, I'll tell you, like you know, um, yeah. like I was someone that you know, uh, I if you ask me what traveling is, I was someone who if you ask me to walk hundred steps, and I'll be like, why, why do I do that? You know, like so I was in Dharam Shala. So like before I started, jo- I joined TCS again. I was like, you know, I mm-hmm. want to do a fifteen days backpacking trip. Okay, budgeted trip, backpacking trip to Dharam Shala and uh, all of these places. And I went to Dharam Shala, and you know, like uh, I stayed in the hostel, and there I had these group of women, like three women, who had come from Australia, and they were all in the age of like fifty years. Okay, fifty plus years, and they were like, you know, uh, Mega, we are going for trekking tomorrow. Would you join us? I was like, are you mad? Why trekking? I mean, uh, I won't trek. She's like, it's a very small trek. We'll just go. I mean, you know, I'm 50 years old. Do you think I'm going to climb the whole mountain? And this is tune trek mm-hmm. I'm talking about. And uh, I'm okay. like, yeah, obviously she is old. She's old. She wouldn't. Uh, she wouldn't trek. Okay. And then what happened that you know, like uh, she was like, yeah, we will just take a cab. We'll go till the starting point. We will just trek a little, and then we'll. I know we'll get tired, and we'll come back. I was like, okay. Mind you, I went in my Crocs. I did not even have shoes. I did not have anything with me. Okay. And after I went there, these ladies would not stop at all. They were like, "Just five more minutes, Mega. We'll just walk five more minutes." And I was like, I was dying literally. But they were like, you know, Mega. It was the first time they met me. She was like, "I'm like your mother. Until unless you walk ahead, I won't step behind." You know. And she kept. I mean, I was like, "Give me five minutes. Let me take rest. Let me take rest." She was there for me, like. Like she was there for me till the end, and the minute I just I was like, why is I? Uh, what is this trekking and all? What is like the view? What is with the view and all that stuff? The minute I stepped on like the the top of the tree, and my my whole my whole perception changed, and I was like, this is the best thing that has ever happened to me in my life, and more so I like because of that lady. Probably if those people would not have been there, I would not have experienced this beauty of trekking. And after okay. that, I came back and uh, I did five six treks after that. So that's wow. how I explored my strengths as well, and yeah, that's great. That's great. So I'm uh, like, abhi right now in the present situation, there are a lot of people like. What we say, traveling is basically बहुत इस generation वाला चीज़ है. आजकल की generation के लोग करते हैं. Household name now. Yeah. So there might be a lot of misconceptions and a lot of negativity that you might have heard. बहुत मे बी डिफरेंट लोग लोग क्या कहेंगे एक्सेट्रा सो लाइक वॉट आर द बेसिक मिसकनसेप्शन और लोग क्या लाइक इफ आई कोट इट लोग क्या कहेंगे टाइप थिंग्स दैट यू हैव यू नो बीन थ्रू Honestly, I think that means I have been like really lucky. Uh, I never faced that challenge, you know. My relatives, in fact, maybe if you can say, I had never allowed anyone to interfere that much in my life. Okay, yeah, they would see my pictures and they were like, "It is a ghumti rati." I mean, I can see how lucky I am. So, I be ghumo, okay. So, you know, that means like I said, like you know, keep. I did not lo- allow people to come into my life that much. I knew there are only two people who mattered to me: my parents, uh, my parents, uh, my, my my father and my mother, and my brother. And my brother believed in me since the beginning, like anything. Okay. In fact, he would be the one whenever I would feel lonely during solo travel, I would call up and I like, hey, listen, S S A hai and all that thing. So he is six years younger to me, but very mature. So. Okay. You know, and my parents, as long as they trusted me, and they were like, they were at times they were irritated. What is this? You keep traveling, save money, do this, and I'm like, ठीक है ना, कर लूँगी बाद में वो भी करके. So I think I never faced any challenge as such, or from my relatives or from my parents' side. In fact, they've been very supportive all the time. They would see my pictures, they would like it, and like in fact, uh, you know, like my mom is one of my big like I would like say like she loves when I start when I post, you know. So she sees all my pictures, and like you know, since the beginning she's been like that. So thankfully, I've been like really blessed with very supportive parents that way. But yes, like when it comes to like you know, uh, um, like uh, like when it comes to like people uh, talking about like um, 
uh, you know like uh, unnecessary people like which i'm been which i i not just me but i have heard people say that to other people kiske paas kuch kaam nahi kitni veli hai like you know uh, like uh, hmm. parents kaise allow kar rahe hai these are very common things but you know like yes it does hurt but i think you know as long as you know you are happy and these people, people are just going to bullshit so it's okay so yeah. that is fine yeah and i think more than that it is always friends who are like mm-hmm. you know uh, who are always negative about So you know, like seeing you succeed, or you know, do something really nice. I have been lucky with a few friends who helped me, you know, like uh, experience this joy of you know the world of blogging, basically travel blogging and all that. But I know there are people who like you know, for example, when I was growing on Instagram, those were the first people to unfollow me. So you know, like you know, like the ones I knew back in my college and all that stuff. So you know, I think the bigger enemy doesn't lie in the friends, the in the relatives and family. It's basically in the friends. अलॉन्ग विदॉब और एज अ स्टूडेंट जो भी हो सो अलॉन्ग विद वॉट लाइक specific skill sets or any certification or courses jo like important hai ya anything like maybe a group of skill set that you need and how to like go about it see if you talk about your skill set perspective today there are a lot of career opportunities that open has opened up in traveling for example like leading groups you have tons of uh, you know like uh, communities today we talk about wander on you talk about capture a trip there are tons of communities so they want you know like trek leaders trip leaders basically i would say so in case you're interested in something like that then you have i don't know i don't remember which is that college exactly but there's a travel uh, college okay which actually uh, a tourism college which actually gives you certification and traveling and you know like leading treks and all that thing so uh, i'll have to check and come back i'm totally forgetting the name but i know a lot of people i've met on the trips they have done these courses but i think like you know uh, uh, like if you talk about skill set which which you need to have uh, like you know when you start traveling is basically communication you really need to know how to communicate um then uh, i would say that you know like it's basically the soft skills okay that matters the most nothing and you need to be knowledge knowledge to know where you're going do your research well for the trips i think these are basically just how you prep for a trip i don't think you need any any a uh, course as such if you talking from a traveler's perspective okay uh, obviously tra- trek leading and travel uh, like group leading is a different ball game altogether but from traveling perspective i don't see a, a like a uh, course or something but just some soft skills that you need to prepare or you know like you need to just sharpen and prepare well in advance before you go for a trip know your itinerary very well what you're going to do how you're going to do like you know uh, and have like don't, don't like don't be like okay mujhe kuch teen din mein puri duniya cover karna hai us us city ka karke okay? no go like enjoy the place okay and uh, yeah i think that's all sh- should matter and if you're traveling along with a corporate job then plan in advance okay like you already you will get your you know like your leave plans you get your uh, like holiday list plan in advance where you can go where if you want to save money on like your expenses go in off season so that means you save a lot of money as well book in advance and uh, you know like uh, then you, in that way you will save a lot on your hotels and your travel as well so i uh, like okay. the traveling part so i think that would be the thing that, that is basically what i do usually so okay yeah okay okay take care so that is something i'll keep in mind <laughs> so yeah. ma'am what message do you like want to give it out to the younger generation jo log travel blogging ya travel in the field of travel like to travel and tourism what message do you want to like say okay so message to for people who want to pursue travel blogging as a career option or as an alternate career option yes. uh find out what different why do you want to do this like what 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 is your purpose what do you want to achieve out of it after that understand what do you what value would you add to others why would someone follow you that is something you need to answer yourself like you know uh, what what differently am i communicating the same message which hundreds of other people are doing um and be persistent believe in yourself even if you have like 10 followers or just 10 likes on your post believe in yourself that you know like it's a slow process it will take time you will not be like okay in one day you're having 1000 followers and next day you're having 10000 no, it never happens that way people wait for years to reach that mark unless you are really promoting 
uh, your posts and you're spending money which i know a lot of people do today so like you know unless you're using promotions and everything then that way your things can work out well for you but if you really want to grow organically then believe in your work try to up your work know what is your, what are your expectations are and invest accordingly be it with a good camera gear be it you know any you know technology that you and like you know uh, a can be camera be it like you know uh, even a drone or be it uh, anything for that matter you know so invest accordingly and uh, yeah so that's all i would say that you know your reason know your know uh, why why i'm doing this you know and what is my expectation okay okay so ma'am we are at the end of our webinar so the very last question would be any tips or anything that you want to share with our listeners with the people those are into career into in travel blogging like anything that you want to share as a tip or as a piece of advice tip would be travel blogging stay consistent don't let the negativity bring you down don't let the like the low reach or you know like the that struggle you know uh, like just uh, you know like uh, uh, deter you or you know like affect your uh, like confidence but most importantly understand where this gets overwhelming for you okay why yes travel blogging is nice it is like you know it is interesting but we say like take time for digital detox as well like you know don't let that overpower you don't let that you know like uh, stress you out so enjoy the process like you know it is really in, in, in instagram internet is a really beautiful space it is much more powerful and we've seen it in the pandemic how using internet yeah. is in instagram as a tool to help so many people so use it to your yeah. advantage and you know uh, use it in a way that you can you know make yourself a better person like when it comes to your speaking skills when it comes to your writing skills when it comes to your photography skills or be when it comes to networking see how it makes you better and not otherwise okay and don't let it overpower you don't let it overwhelm you so just enjoy the process yeah okay okay thank you so much ma'am that was a great session so and again thank you so much for being with us here today i'm sure today's session has cleared ample of doubts and has inspired a lot of future travel bloggers it was a pleasure to have you with us thank you so much thank you so much same here yeah. all the future travel bloggers so buckle up ready ho jao and stay tuned with us if you have any questions regarding this amazing career path then do write it down in the comment section all your queries will be personally addressed so enlightenment is working towards the goal to inspire students to excel in their career with the change in dynamics we will bring the experts from the very interesting and offbeat careers so download our application and follow us on social media to explore the world of careers so lastly i hope that everyone is doing well and safe during this pandemic on this note i would like to conclude today's webinar thank you so much ma'am thank you so much bye bye bye, bye. bye.